Some people, like Debbie was saying, have access to better water or, or water that's, that's not as deep. The county allowed what was called ag, these, these little ag subdivisions. So they allowed these farmers and or ranchers to do some development in their areas, and they were called ag clusters. And, and then what happened was they let them get away with shallow wells in those areas, and then later on, 20 years down the road, irrigated ag moves in and around them with really deep straws. And it's the irrigated ag that created, if they would have never had shallow wells, you might not have ever heard about it. Like in the Jardine area or, you know, between airport and as you're going from the mm -hmm. airport and around there, pretty flat area. They're, they're actually over the best part of the basin, but you gotta be 800 feet deep. The sweet, the, the, the main water's from 600 to 1200. 800, you're in the sweet spot. Okay, but so for Jardine, I think there's 500 homes or something and they're from one acre to five acre type properties. If they would have had a, a mutual water company that they were all involved in and they would have put in a few tanks and, and two or three really good wells, you'd have never heard from them. They'd never had a problem. But they have dirt streets, they let them, they let them subdivide it a certain way. There's four main areas that have issues. They're one of them. El Pomar area is one of them. 